Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is another video in the series of 3D drawing. And I did all but this one right here. Uh, I did this with the contour tool that we've done. I've done before, and I've shown you. But all these, these four right here, were done with the mesh fill tool. I don't think it's as good as the. Uh, you can get some different effects like. That part right there was done with the mesh field field tool. I mean, matter of fact, they all were. And it looks really rough, and it is because it's 3D engraving. And I'm going to try to figure out. But you can see the slope of the contour and the details pretty good. Uh, these were just two circles that I I did. This is pretty cool right here. It's like two little bowls, and these are zoomed in. And and it's I don't think it's as good as a smart field or as a contour tool but here they are right here that I just got through out running and that's a pretty neat effect right there and all these were done with the mesh fill tool so I thought I'd show you how to do that and I'm I've just started doing it so I'm by far uh, not that knowledgeable in it yet but you just take a we're going to take a ellipse and we're just going to draw one and let's zoom in here and then you go down to right here to your interactive fill tool and click on it and get the mesh fill tool. And it comes up, it's got two lines this way and two lines this way. You can add to it. Let's do four and four. You can use the rectangle and then you just go get color and put it in that spot. Go get black and put it in that spot. Now, what I have found, let's do this first. I think this is pretty important. Take your smart fill tool and fill it in with the lightest gray you have. And then when you use the mesh fill tool, and we'll go back and put three and three this time. And it kind of gives you a contour look. And then grab your black and just bring it into the picture. And then that way, this is gray for sure. Now that's using the rectangle style. There's also a freehand that you could select just this part of it. And then when you bring your black in, it kind of just goes with those. You can kind of select what you want to do. I didn't mean to delete that. But let's say you wanted just, whoop. So I put four and four. Let's say we just want to select those inner ones. Now we're going to take our black and bring it in. And I'm, like I said, I'm by far no expert on it yet, or maybe never will be, but you can use different shades of gray to bring it in and get some totally different effects. So let's freehand tool, free, freehanding those. So it's giving you all those nodes that it's going to go to. And then just put it down there. And of course it's bleeding into the other one. But let's just use that object for a second. Whoop. I don't know why I keep backing up. And I would right click and get rid of your outline. Matter of fact, you really can't. It's not part of that. But that would be a petal for a, for a let's say a, a flower. And then just control D and make a duplicate. Move your rotation to the bottom. Now, the only disadvantage in this, it's the same thing with the contour tool. You don't get any degrees. So, one thing you could do is do right angles. And then group these together. Control G and then Control D. Click on it again and then you could rotate the other direction. Control D again. And you're always going to end up with two in the front. But that is how I did this one right here that looks like it's sloping in. And it'll give you that 3D effect much like this one right here where it's sloping out. Because the black is going to burn more. And if you haven't watched my other 3D videos, you need to watch them to find out <clears throat> what you're going to run your laser at. And then always you can take one you've drawn and bring it into the center. 
Now you're going to have to hold down the control button and go page up several times to get it in front of the page. And there you go. And then if you're going to do this and test it out, I would suggest doing it small, like two inches. And I don't have my ratio lock, so I'm going to put two on both of them. And then as always, like we've done before in the other videos, take this whole thing and convert it to a bitmap grayscale. And what it does, it fuzzies it up a little bit, but it also joins it all together. Now it's all one piece. And that would be a pretty cool effect. I don't think it's as good as the contour tool yet, but here's those two inner circles because it was going from real light to dark, real light to real dark. And that's what I got in this one right here. It went from light to dark, back to light, back to dark. Anyway, so that's the mesh fill tool. Anyway, hope that helped you a little bit. And thank you for watching.